Hello everyone! Welcome to Tabletop. Today I will be teaching how to play Cat in the Box. For this tutorial we will have a setup of three players and for three players you will use 30 cards, one numbers one through six. Um, you can place it on the white or purple side but white is for first game. So as this board, you can see the white background here. That is for beginner's game. Purple is for um, more advanced game. Place that in the middle where everyone can reach. Give everyone a color token. Pass a bidding board to everybody. And you can see there's player count number on the corners. And we'll be using the three side. Give the start player the start player round. You play as many rounds as there are players. So with three players, you would play three rounds. Each player gets a chance to go first. You would sort the deck, like I said, you use numbers one through six. As you can see, there are the player count numbers right here. So that helps you know which cards you'll be using. Shuffle and deal them. All right. You would place your tokens on these X marks. So this is also in the game. Um, it's optional the way you want to play it. So this is kind of an aid where you can designate what color your card is because as you can see this game, none of the cards have colors. So if you want to play a blue, you can place it here. You want to play a green, you can place it here. But I do not use it. I just place it around my bidding board right there. So once everybody has their hand, they will pick a card they want to discard strategically. So let's say I'll discard this card. And then start player will then um, estimate how many tricks they will win this round. So according to my hand, I might think I'm going to win three tricks because I feel like I have some good cards. The next player estimates three and the last player estimates one. Okay, and since I am start player, I will start with a trick. I'll pick my card and place it on which color I want. So let's say green, in which case I am playing a six green. I'll take my token and place it on the six, just like that. Next player will have to play a green and follow suit. They play a green three. We will take their token, put it there. And then the last player, let's see what they got. They will play a green five. And the player with the highest value in the leading, in the um, color, will get that trick. And the person who wins the trick will go first in the next round. So since I won that trick, I will go again. Let's say um, a six yellow. I'll place this here. We do the same thing. Well, this player can say that they are out of yellow. They take off that yellow token and then they can place it in the red. And why would they want to do that? Because red is a trump suit. You cannot play red until it's broken into, in which case third player broke into red and red is the trump suit. So they would win. And then they will go first. And they will go red two. And now we all have to play red. And I want to win some more, so I will play a high red to win this trick, or at least attempt to. All right, and you will, um, since I have the highest red, I would win this trick. And you will keep going until you have one card left. You will not play the last card. That would be end, that would be the end of the round or if you cause a paradox. And what is a paradox? It is when you have cards that you cannot play because they are five cards of each type. So let's say all the threes have been played and I am left with a three to play and I cannot play that anymore. So that's considered a paradox. Whoever causes the paradox will minus points of how many tricks they want. So in this case, if I cause the paradox, I want two tricks that will be minus two points instead of positive two points. And let's say that third player estimated they would win one trick, which they did. They would get bonus points of 
their tokens being next to each other. So in this case, their largest grouping is right here, which is two. So they will get two plus one, it's three points for this round if it ended at this time. And that is how you play Cat in the Box. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.